All right, the team of fans. Now, in the finale of season two, Jeremiah stated that, you know, he was going to leave town. He just wanted Zach to give him the information regarding the date of the funeral for their mom. And then he would just split and, you know, just go to a new city, kind of start over, that kind of thing. And it's interesting to see that, well, that's an interesting way of sending the character off. You know, he's not dead. He had a moment of sobriety with his brother. And, you know, from there, he just went about his own way. There was a scene off screen, of course, when Zach comes out of the apartment telling Fatima that, you know, he went up there. Jeremiah gave him what he wanted, the uh, tapes and whatnot. And, you know, he regressed going back to his old habits of getting high. But regardless, I feel like there is more to tell with that character in terms of what Jeremiah can bring to the table. You know, Amir definitely brought one hell of a performance to the character and as a result of that fans have just been applauding his performance as the character in season two i mean season two brought out a lot of great acting chops or excuse me season two allowed us to see the acting chops of a number of the characters you know most uh would give deval the mvp crown but jeremiah was the unsung hero of season two where you know, you just didn't like this character. He was grimy. He was mean. He was hateful. He was always trying to manipulate his brother. But at the end of the day, we learned a bit more about his character, why he is the way he is. But overall, that performance and little nuances that Amir brought to the character made him a fan favorite in his own right. So there are a number of ways the character could be brought back. Um, as the team moves forward, uh, season three hasn't been filmed, so it's safe to assume, you know, uh, with a lot of Tyler shows that were about to be filmed prior to the strike earlier this year, I think that if Jeremiah was in season three, it prop well, of course, I wouldn't know Jack Squat about it because nothing's been filmed yet, duh. But I I'd say that if he were to come back, let's say season four or something like that, it would be in the capacity of. Him coming back once his, you know, journey isn't over, but we'll just maybe see a different side of the character, given the fact that he's been gone for quite a while. Uh, you know, there's no telling what the timeline is for the show, but maybe we'll see a different side of him. Maybe he decided to, you know, stop doing drugs, but at least showing us a journey of progression where he's still on some of the drugs, but at the same time, he's getting better. He's not choosing to get high every second of the day because it's definitely a process because remember in the finale zach offered to get him help like yo man i'll give you counseling or you know we go to rehab whatever it takes but jeremiah declined and you know from there he just said he'd do his own thing so we know that he has kids i believe it was stated he also has a girl or a wife or something but regardless it will be interesting to see jeremiah come back from his self journey if you will to see if he can possibly be a better man, you know, to take care of his kids, be there for them the way his parents weren't there for him. And we can also see a dynamic of, you know, maybe him interacting with his nephew, Michael. It's just one of those things where there's so many things that we could, you know, unpack with this character. Like, for example, um, I wouldn't be surprised just seeing a closeness between Jeremiah and Zach's friends more than him and his brother, you know, um, given the fact how Nate didn't want to waste time in season one telling Jeremiah about Zach's house and everything. But I just feel like um, Jeremiah is a character of untapped potential. Even if he never came back, he he left one hell of an imprint in the series. But I do feel like there is more the character could offer. That goes for a lot of the other characters. On, Like, for example, Nate. I feel like Nate can offer more. I like what we have, you know, in his humor and whatnot. But I do feel like there's more to explore. Like, you know, his relationship with his wife, Lori. I mean, maybe looking at Zach and him finding happiness with Fatima, regardless of the obstacles they have to deal with. Maybe that will, you know, maybe help him mature to be a better man, to help him grow and... um you know, do right by him or excuse me, his wife and his kids. And when it comes to Jeremiah, I think it boils down to this. If less time was spent with, you know, constant new people popping up. Oh, this is a better man for Fatima than Zach or, oh, this girl is better for Zach than Fatima because it's less drama. If there was less of that and more of just focusing on Zach and Fatima as a couple, all the while building up the 
characters of the friends and everyone else around them, I think this could be a very, very, very well-rounded show as opposing, you know, as opposed to feeling a bit repetitive where, oh, season five, I wonder who the new woman or man that will pop up and potentially try to steal, you know, one half of the Zatimo relationship away from the other. So, yeah, I think there is potential for more Jeremiah in the show. Um, I think I speak for everyone when I say we'd love to see it. And that's about it. That's all I have. But, you know, the more we want to see of Madam interacting with Fatima, the way we want to see Jeremiah uh, interacting with Zach. So let's talk about it more in the comment section below. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video.